This is Paul Turner, the Immigration Barrister at Imperium Chambers. Thank you for tuning in. If you have an immigration problem, please get in touch with me and I'll do my best to help you. Today we're going to be talking about the government's latest plan to reduce uh, migration, which will also probably harm the UK economy. Uh, but who cares? Certainly not this government, it appears. Yet it seems getting tough on uh, uh, legal migrants is apparently worth harming the UK's economy. Well, it does to the Secretary of State and the right-wing press that she panders to. Uh, certainly not the public, anyway, as we'll see. Apparently, uh, due to the significant rise in net migration over the last year, the Prime Minister asked the Home Office to come up with a plan to reduce migration. In response, the Secretary of State, Cruella, has rather unimaginatively proposed to shorten the length of time that international students are allowed to stay on in the United Kingdom. Uh, rather than tackling uh, criminal gangs or properly funding the Home Office, as some people might think would be prudent. At the moment, students who uh, uh, graduate are allowed to remain in the United Kingdom for two or three years, uh, depending on their circumstances, uh, which gives them the opportunity of uh, earning some money, gaining some experience or moving into a skilled position. Uh, this is notwithstanding the fact that the graduate route, as it's called, was only introduced uh, back in July 2021. Um, that policy itself reversed the post-study work visa, which was uh, available up until about 2010 or so. Um, uh, this policy really indicates, uh, this change of policy really indicates a number of things. First, the government is uh, rather quickly running out of headline proposals, um, so much that they're willing to make essentially a 180 degree turn on newly introduced visa routes. Secondly, it is becoming quite apparent that our government's vilification of immigrants and migrants, illegal or illegal, is nothing more than a desperate ploy, in my view, to raise polling numbers uh, in the midst of plummeting ratings and it appears a different scandal every week. What is particularly brazen is that this policy doesn't consider, as highlighted by the UK Department of Education, it is the, or have any regard to, the immense value that legal student migration brings to the United Kingdom and, and its economy. The fact is that every international student is estimated to generate £132,000 in economic impact and a massive £25.9 billion pounds for uh, just foreign students. Uh, not to mention that these students have the highest uh, compliance rates of any visa category. Apparently 97.5% of them leave the United Kingdom in accordance with their visa. It is it therefore calls into question how the government intends to address the cost of living crisis by eliminating um, pools of foreign investment and deterring students from coming here in the first place. Income from international students helps plug major shortfalls in research and development costs at no ex extra expense to the taxpayer and supports homebred students by ensuring high quality courses remain affordable. The UK public apparently understands the need for foreign investment by students. Apparently a poll showed that only 19% of the public support restricting the number of international students coming to the United Kingdom. The Home Secretary says uh, that the move won't have an impact on the number of students uh, who apply to UK universities uh, in the first place, but successful recruitment strategies go beyond what happens in lectures and, and seminar rooms, as we all know. Um, not that she's provided any statistical background or uh, support for her contention, but it seems to me that common sense would dictate that if a migrant knows that they can only remain for six months after their degree, or alternatively that the immigration rules are going to change uh, every other week, they're not going to choose to come and, uh, and spend, on average, £132,000 uh, in the United Kingdom. And as I say, it's a whopping £25.9 billion. Um, one would have thought that the government would be encouraging foreign students, especially those to, to come here, given the fact that they bring an economic benefit to the country. However, uh, obviously migrants are migrants, whether they're illegal or illegal, and this government simply doesn't like them. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. It's a bit disturbing, but then quite a lot of them are. Um, sadly, that reflects this government. Please subscribe to my channel. Uh, thank you again. Please stay safe. This is Paul Turner, the Immigration Barrister at Imperium Chambers.